carried on. Um, obviously, to to qualify for the Commonwealth Games um, from Bermuda in Bermuda is is a remarkable achievement to say the least. Because we have two others in dressage that are abroad right now that have also qualified. But the fact that you um, are doing this in Bermuda, uh, a big achievement for you. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's the first time that we've been able to offer any equestrian um, qualifying event here for any regional game. So I'm proud of the achievement and great for Bermuda that we've been able to reach that level, really. Now, unfortunately, uh, we were just talking um, due to financial um, strains. Uh, you are basically at this time unable to attend the, the, the games, but you're satisfied that the fact that you were able to accomplish the goal gives others that inspiration as well? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, it does hopefully give people inspiration that we can achieve things in Bermuda. And for some of us, it's just we don't have the opportunity to be abroad. You know, our lives are here, my job's here. Um, so I think that we've, I've been able to reach this level um, is a huge a achievement. Now, Veracruz, Mexico would have been the place where you would have been here on the world stage. Um, but, but all hope is not lost, no, is it? Not, okay. Not <laughs> but but the, the opportunity, um, if you were to perform there, um, uh, give us a sense of, of, of the pride in which you uh, would, would, would feel in representing Bermuda in the CAC Games. Oh, it, it would be tremendous for me. I've, um, you know, I've been working in Bermuda for a long time with horses, I have a lot of students and I think it would be um, really good for them to see you know somebody from Bermuda doing that and Annabelle was actually one of my students when she was a junior in Bermuda so it's going to be great to see her there for sure and um, yeah it would be amazing, it would be an amazing thing for me to have that opportunity you know unfortunately um, funding is you know I don't really have the funding to go but still working on that. Now a lot of people look at dressage as a different type of sport. Um, getting the horse to understand the commands, uh, keeping the body still, all that. How much mental uh, stress does that take in order to get the rider and the horse to, to perform it at the highest level? Yeah, I think for me personally, I tend to have create a very special relationship with the horses. I have um, been lucky enough to compete and I've been working with this horse since he was five years old and um, I have a bond with him and we have an understanding. So I think that's my strength, I would say, is, you know, working with horses and having that bond. Well, I'm personally hoping to see you in Veracruz, Mexico, as I think uh, having the opportunity to qualify and not having the opportunity to go will be a disappointment for the country itself. But hopefully we can uh, get some funding for you and, uh, and uh, hopefully we can see you represent finally Bermuda flag along with Annabella and Virginia in, right. in Veracruz, Mexico in the sport of dressage. That's great. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Thanks.